Welcome back, it's Ryzen, and today I wanted to talk about Tower of God, chapter 143, because, man, uh, stuff really, really went down that chapter, and I feel like I want to make a whole nother video just kind of talking about it. I know it's a little bit late, it's been like uh, almost a week now since the chapter uh, came out, but I had a little bit of time to think on it. Um, I did read all of your comments on that chapter of you. Uh, or reaction rather whatever it was and um, you know, I thought there was a lot of very interesting opinions um, Especially in reaction uh, in particular to Yazracha's death. So first and foremost I thought it would be best to answer the question. Do I think Yazracha is actually dead? Uh, me personally, yeah, I do. I think it's just about wrapped up um, If he doesn't die, um, I'm probably gonna be very disappointed It's gonna be a, a kind of a one-piece moment if you will, you know what I'm saying initially I would always I was always saying that I didn't want Yazracha to die to trauma ray, you know I've been saying that for the past couple of weeks But seeing it actually occur it was just really weird like if you could tell by my reaction in that chapter I was just like I wasn't I, I expressed a bit of disappointment, but it was mostly just like dang I don't know how to feel about this, you know? Like, it was my first time reading Tower of God and having a character that I actually cared about die. Because as I've expressed many times, Yasracha, in, in my opinion, is a top five character in the series. I think his character arc is brilliant. I think uh, his backstory was amazing. And so having him die in the present, uh, in this nest arc, really was a weird experience. But <clears throat> after, you know, thinking about it, um, I've come to the conclusion, boys, all right? I've come to the conclusion that I thought his death was good. Uh, I know in the chapter review I said that it felt very contrived to the fact that Yamo was grieving his death and all that, but I thought about it a little bit, I thought about it. And uh, you know, some of the comments did help sway me a little bit. I think one of the biggest things that you have to take into consideration is that Yama pretty much saw Yasracha uh, defy Traumare. And Yama, he's one of those characters that may come off as like stupid, but in reality, he's not that dumb, right? He, he's not like brain dead, right? So I think that Yezracha is slowly throughout this, you know, altercation, figuring out that Yezracha truly isn't who he initially thought he was, right? And I think the hatred has been slowly dissipating and filling up with more intrigue, right? Because it's not gone. The hatred it definitely isn't there. Uh, I think, um, I do believe it may have been um, Raikumo, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, somebody left a comment saying that, you know, he doesn't want Yazracha to die because he wants to fight him and kill him himself. But if you read the chapter, you'll notice that he's just, he seems genuinely distraught, right? It's not just like a, no, I wanted to kill you. It's more of like a, you know, I genuinely don't want you to die. You know, that's just the type of vibe I get from it. So it is very, very odd. But I think, I think it's SIU leaving it up to our interpretation. And, uh, you know, the way I interpret it, I think there is a little bit of the fact that Yama wants to continue that rivalry and wants to, you know, surpass him in terms of, like, um, beating him in a fight. But I think there's also the fact that he wants to find out why uh, Yazracha was willing to lie for him. He wants to find out why uh, Yazracha hasn't just straight up killed him yet, right? I think Yazracha is, like, you know, using his big boy brain now. He's starting to kind of piece together the, the, the fact that, you know, what he's perceiving, the way that he's been uh, analyzing the whole situation this entire time, doesn't really add up with what's you know actually happening with Yasuracha's actual actions. And I do hope that next chapter we get a little bit of an expansion upon Yama's thought process. I think that would be very good. But um, overall, you know, after letting that death sit with me and you know getting some time to think about it, I, I really do think that it was a a good way to end Yasuracha's character arc. I know that I've been kind of ragging on the fact that um, you know, I don't want him to die simply because um, he wants to make his last act of living uh, defiance against Traumare. I didn't like the idea of that at all. I've expressed this so much. You guys have probably got fed up with me expressing it by now. But upon seeing it in actual execution, I liked it, man. It, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, so, you know, after thinking about this death and actually seeing it, reading it, I do think that it was a it was a good death and probably one of the best deaths in the series. There's definitely a lot more to unpack with it, and you know after this nest arc ends, I'm gonna have a whole series of videos. I'm gonna be rereading the nest arc. I'm gonna be analyzing the arc and uh, you know going over everything. And uh, yes, Racha's entire character is definitely gonna be a, a huge part of that. As for all the trauma race stuff that happened in this chapter, it's about time, man. I think. Uh, I saw in the comments, I think, of like my unpopular opinion video, somebody just straight up said, Traumare is a pussy. 
<laughs> and uh, when I read that, I was like really taken aback. Like, how could you say that? But he kind of spit in facts. Like, there was another comment that was, um, it was kind of describing Trauma Ray's mentality and kind of saying that Trauma Ray doesn't really care about killing people, right? Because I was complaining about the fact that Trauma Ray hasn't killed anyone yet. And the comment was basically saying, hey, look, Trauma Ray doesn't care about killing. He really just cares about dominating, right? And this whole, um, you know, kind of position that Trauma Ray is put into is where he can't really dominate. There's people with, personality is greater than what he's ever seen before, right? People like Bomb, people like Yama, right? People that Trauma Ray can't really dominate and it's putting him in a very weird situation. And that's why he's just not killing everybody because he wants to dominate them. But th that's okay, right? I have no problem with that if that's the route that SIU fully commits to. But the way that I've been seeing it, Trauma Ray is threatening. He's making all these threats and not delivering. And it definitely comes off as a little bit underwhelming. He, when he pulls up initially, he says, all right, if anyone makes one more time, if anybody talks, I'm gonna make this nest disappear. We then have Yazracha straight up rushing him. We have Yama powering up and killing one of his most powerful creatures. We have Jin Sung Haas butting in and arguing with him. And he did not make any heads roll for the longest time. And that, that, I think that's just very jarring. It, it takes away a little bit of the, the credibility and the, the power of the words of a family head, I feel. And that I really wasn't the biggest fan of. I think if you're going to go down the route of really honing in uh, Trauma Ray's desire to dominate and kind of conveying the fact that he doesn't really care about killing people, then just don't have him threaten them. I don't want the family head, the person who's supposed to be the most powerful and cool, to make empty threats that just kind of like totally takes away from the value of uh, the terrifying nature of what a family head is supposed to be right um i'm not saying i'm out here you know disappointed by trauma ray's character or anything because uh, you know i'm really not i've been loving it but again it's just it's just a bit weird that he's like making all these threats and not really fully delivering especially the fact that he said that the deal is over right and then jin sung ha pulls up in the flesh this should be a, a, another case closer he should kill jin sung ha on sight because he already told Bomb the deal was over, negotiations are over. He sees Jin Sung come back and he's like, oh, well, negotiations resumed, right? Hey, marry my daughter again. He, like, dude, I don't get how many times you're gonna make this guy bang your daughter, bro. It's ridiculous, dude. He's like, hey, bang my daughter. Bomb's like, uh, no thanks, man. He's like, all right, fine, I'm gonna kill everyone. And he's like, oh, wait, 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 before I kill anyone, are you sure you wanna bang my daughter? Like, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's just kinda goofy, man. You know, whatever. All of that is now behind us, right? Because Trauma Ray, last chapter, deployed his Shin Wan Ryu. That is huge. Um, I, I really am kind of speechless still, even having like a week to think about it. I have no idea what is gonna happen here. Uh, I, if I can try to give a prediction, I would say that Gustong is gonna have to pull up and somehow neutralize it because there is nobody in that nest right now that can even come close to neutralizing that Shin Wan Ryu. And uh, you know, if Trauma Ray isn't making empty promises, that thing really can destroy the entire nest. So I think the only option here is to have uh, Gustang pull up and uh, somehow neutralize it. So I know like a, a lot of this discussion has seemed to be criticism of what I don't like, you know, but I, I just wanna make this very clear. This chapter, this last chapter, I, in my reaction, I called it a 10 out of 10. And I stand by that. I think it was a very good chapter because I think that what this chapter did was deliver for me. I think it redeemed the direction that I thought Yazracha's character was going because I really was disliking the direction they were taking it. But upon seeing it in action, I loved it. Uh, Trauma Ray's character had been disappointing me a little bit again with the false promises and the empty threats. But now he's actually delivering. So I, I, I really do think that this chapter um, really fixed a lot of my current problems with the uh, the, the current arc. And I really am uh, really appreciative of the chapter. But um, yeah, that's kind of all that I wanted to do with this video. I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on Trauma Ray deploying his Shin Wan Ryu and Yazracha's death. I thought those two events were deserving of their own little mini discussion video. If you enjoyed Tower of God content, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. I got a ton of it on here. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to leave a like. I really, really would appreciate it. Shout out to Olibinus for being a patron and an extra special shout out to Demon God Kane, Nicholas, and Gavin for being those irregular tier patrons. Your guys' support really does mean the world to me. And if you too want to become a patron, 
patron. Uh, the link is in the description. You'll get early access to all my chapter reviews, and you'll just be supporting me a ton, man. I'll really, really appreciate it. Uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be my chapter reaction slash review in a couple days. All right, see ya.